Hey guys, no guess, Nico. One thing I haven't done yet, which I should have done a while ago, is ground my system. So, got this eight foot grounding rod. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drive it into the ground. I'm gonna keep a little bit above and we're gonna connect the ground wire to it. And it's gonna connect to my uh, combiner box. That way the whole system's grounded. In case of power surges from lightning strikes or whatever, um, something goes bad and it's got a surge of power, it'll run to ground and not run into the house. So right, I'm going to go ahead and we'll start pounding this. Hopefully I don't hit a bunch of rocks and it goes all the way in. Just left a little nub. Move the camera around so you guys can see the rest. Okay, so what we got here is we have our ground clamp. We're gonna put it on this ground rod that I just drove into the ground. And I'll take some pictures of this up close so you can see it. But I also have a ground connection in this box. I'm gonna hook this wire up to. We're gonna run it down outside. I'll get some nice wire clamps, make it look good. And then we're gonna connect it to ground. And then my whole system will be grounded. So anything that I run, I will actually have it grounded to here. Here's my combiner box. All right, so I'm gonna run the ground wire up through here. And then all I have to, did I just drop? No, it was a, a bug just dropped. So then all I have to do is connect ground to this ground bar here. So once I run the wire up here, connect it here, and then I run it down, connect it to my ground rod, and we are all set and safe. So let me go get the necessary things I need, and we'll uh, get this connected. Got a ring terminal. It's just a little tight, but it'll work. I'm gonna leave some slack in here so I can replace this with the correct one, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and go with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and Pull me some wire in here. Like I said, I'm gonna leave myself some slack. So I'm gonna twist this on. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp it. So I know it is secure. I got a good connection. Should be good, so now I can tighten this up. Nice weather seal. And I'm going to cut a little excess off. And now I'm going to run it behind all these guys. here go over and connect it to my ground rod so let me uh, move the camera all right so I'm gonna run it down like this so I'm gonna cut it off about here you guys saw my last video I struggled with these I had to make an adjustment so they're working a lot better Eight gauge is kind of a little bit, it's max, but it still does it fairly well. Cut most of the way through. There you go. Now what you want to do with this, you want to run it behind here, and then screw it tight. So I'm going to bend this at a 90 so it's coming up right onto that bolt and then
right there. Nice and tight. Now all I gotta do is get some wire connectors and attach that to the post to where it's not flopping around like this. We're all done. That's how easy it is to put a ground on your system. Hi.